Hi everyone, I wanted to uh, do a little video about our part hole model and here it is. So this is where you put the hole, which is just the number that, um, the, the number that when you combine these two parts, it makes the hole. So part, part, hole. Now, I've got some uh, cards with some numbers on and you can make these yourself or you could just roll a dice to find numbers. Um, I've got a whiteboard or some, you could use some paper to write on and then I've got some, I'm going to use these people as counters. So, I'm going to choose a card and I've got number four and I'm going to put that there. Uh, and then I'm going to count carefully. One, two, three, four. Um, if, if we're still practicing with our counting and we need some help, uh, not a problem. Uh, just keep uh, asking your child to, to copy you and you can demonstrate and we count carefully and we um, will normally ask the children to touch them or move them. Moving them really help counting. So one, two, three, four. There's four. So there's the, how we write it. And this is what it looks like. So can we move them so that they go into the circles? And then your child could move some here and some here. And then you'd say, how much is this part? Two. And how many in this part? Two. And what was the whole when they all go together? And if they're still not sure, physically move them back together. There we go. So two, two and four. Now. We always like to find ways to represent um, our maths. So um, they could draw their own picture. They could just draw a pictorial representation like this. Although you then might get confused to think that's 11. So you could make these into people. There we go. You could do it like that. Your child might like to do um, two is a part, add, two is a part, equals four. And you can, you could show them, you could say, um, okay, I'm going to do this. What goes in these boxes, you might say. Um, you could do it like this. Three and how many? make four. So you've got four, so put three in one of the parts. And what's the other part here? <gasps> How many's left? Move the last one. Every, all of them have to move, so we always move all of them out. Well done. So that's one. Oops, poor lady knocked her down. There we go. So you could represent it like that. You could just um, draw. Some of the children um, are really good. They feel comfortable drawing dots like this and you can remind them that this is the add that means you put these two groups together part add part equals whole and you can remind them about the equal sign as well um, because representing as a um, as a number sum like this or as a subtraction um, sentence like this um, that's quite tricky and we are very much still in the practical so don't worry if we're not here yet very much play with these numbers don't forget that you could have um, all of them so four is a part zero and we've been working hard to make sure we know about zero and then what happens when you do four and zero well, there's no more to add so it's just four there we go have fun exploring with your part holes. Oh.